Hey everybody, welcome back to Harris Family Adventures. All right, I'm so glad you joined us for a trip to the sand dunes. We're actually starting bright and early. This was Saturday, September 24th, that matters later, and we were leaving Breckenridge. We stayed in the Pine Ridge condominiums, um, and we were leaving on our way to go south to Great Sand Dune National Park. So this was pretty because there was a lot of fall foliage happening. We've talked about that. How do you say fall? Fall foliage, fall, I don't know. Anyway, that's how I say it. So I decided to take some clips. You can see the sun is coming up. It was a very pretty drive. It was about 36 degrees when we left at eight o'clock in the morning to kind of give you some perspective of the temperature and the mountains are kind of coming alive in the morning as we drive south. Now this was about a three and a half hour drive. We did have a detour, which made it a little bit longer. I'll just, spoiler alert, we ended up taking a little bit more of a detour on the way back on purpose and we didn't get back to like nine that night. So that was a really long day. We did not know it was gonna be that long of a day. But at this point, we're still like, look how pretty it is. Again, we live in Nebraska, so mountains aren't a thing. We were just trying to take it all in. This had been Justin's idea to go down to a grand, what was it, Sand Dunes National Park. Um, and so Reese and I went along for the drive. Again, some of these twisty, turvy roads. This is where it gets us though, because in Nebraska, the number of miles is the number of minutes. Oh, it's 60 miles away. That'll take us about an hour to get there. And even though at this point we had been in Colorado for three weeks, we still were, we still fell prey to that, you know, thinking like, oh, it's just 45 miles. We'll just, you know, no, that's not 45 minutes, twisty and turvy roads. But again, just trying to soak it all in and enjoy it. We only had about two weeks left in Colorado at that point. If you're new here, we are kind of taking the year to do some traveling around the United States, um, staying at places for a little bit longer. So again, we went to Breckenridge, Colorado, for about a month so from labor day through the beginning part of october so we're back now but if you're interested you can see kind of what that drive would be like and as we got farther south i will say sorry if you're in southern colorado it's just not as pretty there's not as much greenery it's more bushes and honestly at this point it kind of looks like a nebraska well western nebraska there's the mountains, so that'll make you think, okay, well, maybe there's a little bit of something else going on. If you've never been to Nebraska, I will tell you it's kind of two separate parts. I know this is a Colorado video, but there's two separate parts. So in the eastern part, it's humid, it's really flat, uh, but good soil for farming. And then the western, we got the sand hills, so it's very sandy, and some hills, some bluffs, so that type of thing. Um, it's a lot drier, so the humidity is not near as bad. They have a dry heat. Okay, so now we're actually in the National Park. This was us leaving the visitor center. And what was fun about this is we were all prepared to give them our $25 for our car, but September 24th was like National Park Day, so it was free entrance. And this is as we start. You'll notice Justin still has his jacket on, Reese is hopping and skipping along, he has his pants pulled all the way down, the pant legs, I mean, you'll see those go up. Reese still has his shoes on, and I'm kind of stumbling behind. This is deep sand, guys, it is soft and it is deep. Oh, see, Justin's starting to take the jacket off. It was only, I think 65, maybe 70 when we were there, but we ended up sweating. I am doing so much laundry today because we got so sweaty and dirty. We weren't as well prepared as we should have been. We should have had more water. We should have had more sunscreen. We should have had lighter clothing on, but. So we would climb up a little bit and then we'd be exhausted. Justin and I are just trying not to die. That was the Harris family motto. Nobody dies today. And then Reese would like scamper along oh, to be 11. So this is when we made it to one of the top parts. This is when we were doing okay. And then we'd be like, okay, we can make the next little hill. And then we'd be like, okay, but that's where we're stopping. That's, that's as far as we're getting. So we'd climb up. Now this is so deceiving guys. This is, oh my goodness. This looks like no big deal. Oh, you're basically walking straight up, 45 degree angle maybe, but it's in sand. Oh my gosh, it was so hard. Beautiful views, I will say that. So this is kind of from one of the little peaks. I don't know if it's a peak when it's made out of sand, from one of the mountains of sand. This is what it looked like. So yes, it is beautiful. Um, parking is really hard to find. I think it was very crowded 
for a normal day at the sand dunes, but I mean, when you have this much sand, we never felt crowded. Um, this was our ascent to like the highest peak. We didn't think we'd ever make it there, but we did. So this is actually a pretty narrow path. Most of the paths are much wider. And we had talked about if you start to fall, just go limp. Um, there are people, and at the top here, we might be able to see them. There were quite a few people. I would say maybe a third of the people there had sand boards. That's a different kind of like, I don't know, kind of looks like a snowboard, but it's made for sand. Um, and they would sand board down the big hills. Some of them fell and got sand all, all in, all over everything. Others did a better job, but then you have to walk up the hill. Anyway, so we were just trying not to die, Justin and I, and all of a sudden we noticed Reese, that little black dot. I don't know if you can see it over there. He had made it. He just decided to go down this big hill and up the opposing hill. And he's just running and jumping. Again, we're just trying not to die. You'll see Reese has his shoes off. That was probably seven eighths of the time he just had his shoes off. A lot of people did. I was gonna say most, I wouldn't say most, but a lot of people took their shoes off. Um, the sand was kind of hot. They said in the summer, in the little information booklet we got, the sand can reach like really, really, really hot temperatures. Um, I kept my tennis shoes on most of the time. They are still filled with sand. Like I've emptied them seven times and they still have sand then you get to go down. So I had gone down just by taking big steps, kind of like Justin you see up there. Um, Reese had gone down on his bottom. Again, we have sand all over our car and clothes and everywhere. Um, but obviously going down was way more fun. Again, take water, take sunscreen. You're gonna get hot. Take a change of clothes, change your clothes. When you get to your car, take a change of clothes so you can change your clothes. But yeah, going down was fun. Oh, again, it was very, very thick. So yeah, it was great. Highly recommend going. There's a little like stream at the bottom, which is a nice place to kind of chill and cool off and relax. I think that's even um, more water during different months of the year. But yeah, I would highly recommend going. Again, normally it's $25 per car because it is a national park. We happened to go on a day that it was free. Um, this is just some more of the non-sand part of the area. I hope you enjoyed watching this video with us. Please let me know if you have any questions. I have a couple more Breckenridge videos coming out, so subscribe if you want them. We're headed to Massachusetts next. Bye! through I can't forget